Okay, I'm gonna do a test here. I've got an 1897 in your head penny there, a clad dime there on a styrofoam. And what I have here on this box is I've got two nickels with a clad dime sandwiched in the middle, okay? What I'm gonna show you here is I'm gonna compare the E Track, Stock Coal, Equinox, Dash 2 with a 9 inch coal. Now, a lot of people may say, uh oh, that DS2's got that small call on it. It's probably going to do better here, and that's the reason why. Well, you might not think that when you're done with this video. Okay, so we're going to turn on this E track here. This video here suggests to me the results gotten that this DS2 may be a better modern trash hunter, okay? With the 11 inch call, even. Okay, clad dime. 1244. Okay, the Indian head penny. 1235. Now, I'm not even going to say all Indian head pennies read 1235. But let's just assume we were hunting a modern trash site and we know that low conductors can compromise high conductor ID. So we have to go somewhere to set our standard, okay? To what we're gonna dig. So this right here, at 1235 is gonna be our standard, okay? So I'm gonna sweep across this right here with this E-Track. I get a 31 conductive number. 32. Okay. You get about a 32 conductive number in the window of that detector right there, okay? So I'm gonna turn this one off here. And I even went to all the channels and that's gives about the same results, okay? Okay. I'm gonna get this old equinox fired up. Okay, we're gonna check it in all the parking field modes. Okay, I've done looked at it though. Okay, the clad dime. About 25, the Indian head penny. 1920, okay. And I've looked at all these other modes. Field two probably reads a little low. It probably comes in more than 19. We'll look at the clad dime. Okay, 25, 26, the Indian head. Yeah, she's reading about 20. Okay, so we'll just leave it in field two and sweep this here. You see that meter right there? 14, 15 in field two. Park one. 15, 16. Park two. 14, 15, field one. Might have seen a 17 in the window, okay? Back on this Indian head again. Okay. Now, I'm going to go in here and show you something here. Now, that's four kilohertz. Now, remember, I've got a bigger call on this machine than I've got on that DS2, okay? And I can't run single frequency on that E-Track, but watch this. Okay, I'm getting dime ID in the window now. When I go to four kilohertz on that signal right there, okay? Now, I didn't check five. I could. Five does a good job. Okay. Ten kilohertz. I'd probably dig that Indian head. No, I'd, that's an Indian head signal on this setup right here at ten kilohertz. Fifteen. Wasn't digging at twenty though. Okay, so it's sort of strange, ain't it? You see how the single frequency behaves different on that? Now those coins are on edge, okay? Park one real quick, let you look at it again. That's from about three inches above that 
set up there. Okay, I'm going to turn this one off here. Turn this day is two on. Now, not all the programs act the same on this setup here. They give different ID, okay? Because it's probably frequency driven. Okay. We're going to go straight over here and look at the best performer. Deep high conductor. Clad dime. 91. Indian head penny. Let me see that in that camera there. 85. Well, watch this. 86. Okay. So if, if I ran up on that in the field there, you know, I'd... If I was looking at Indian head ID or hired and tried to dig, I'd dig it with this machine running full multi-frequency using deep high conductor. Now let's look at the park mode. Park mode on this Indian head. 85. Watch this. 78. Okay, so I wouldn't dig that right there. Okay. And we'll go to fast. Now, fast, fast and sensitive FT and sensitive and the general program all do about the same on this here. Here's fast. Okay, even a lower ID, 73 versus park, 78 versus deep high conductor, which was 86. Okay. So this would suggest this machine in... Deep High Conductor, even though the program is named Deep High Conductor, you might take this thing around some stadiums and whatever, where there's a lot of modern trash, higher conductive clad, silver rings. This thing may be the sneaker, okay? It, it may be the one that gets it out of there, doing select digging. You might pass it on them two machines there, but I'm going to do some more tests to see how this all shakes out.